Hey everybody, this is Bridget Rays, and I'm back with another uh, stylish answer uh, for you for the week. I've been gone for a few weeks. It was the holidays. Happy holidays to all of you. I decided to take some time off, and I'm back with, uh, I promised you the last time, another closet editing tip for you. Last time I visited with you, I shared one tip about how to clean out and streamline your closet, and this week is promised. I'm here again with another tip for you to consider. The new year is a great time to really purge your closet and get rid of what you don't love and what's not working for you. So this is a tip for you if you have too much of the same thing in your wardrobe. Um, a lot of people suffer from this. We, we kind of go back to the same well over and over again and buy a lot of duplication. And what happens is um, it's what I call what you wind up doing is splitting your wares. And what splitting your wares means is you have... Let's say you have five pairs of black pants, right? But So the need for the black pants in your wardrobe is split over five pairs of pants versus the need for the black pants in your life being split over two pairs of pants. So what ultimately happens is the more you have of the same thing, the less value that item becomes. So too much of the same thing means that you have to split your needs over, the, over more versus less, and the value of each item then goes down versus up. So you don't want too much duplication for that reason, and you don't want to split your wares with the items in your wardrobe. Now, how do you decide, well, what stays and what goes? This is a really helpful tip that I use a lot with uh, clients when I notice there's a lot of duplication. Now, the thing I want to point out about duplication is it doesn't have to be all of the same thing. Sometimes it is, sometimes you have five pairs of black pants or six little black dresses, but it can also be too many of too many items that fill the same purpose. So it could be cocktail dresses, for example, and you could have three different cocktail dresses and you're not getting wear out of all of them. That also can be called splitting your wares. So when I'm with a client and we pull out an item and they're like, oh, I haven't worn this in ages, but I'm keeping it because I might just wear it, what I always say to them, and I do, is I pull out another item that is that plays the same role. So, for example, if it's cocktail dresses, I will they'll, we'll pull out a cocktail dress they haven't worn, and then I pull out one that they really love and is kind of their go-to. And I ask them this question, and this is what I want you to ask yourself. Under what circumstance, and is, let me try that again, under what circumstance are you going to choose this less desirable dress over the one that you really love? And what a lot of clients notice is that even though it's there in their closet and it's perfectly fine, they have something else that they prefer more. And that's how we decide what stays and what goes. So and that's what happens when we hold on to things that we have something else that does just as good of a job, if not better. We're always going to go to the piece we prefer. And we would more often repeat wearing something that we love over going for something less desirable that we feel we have to wear. Um, this is why we don't need as much as we think we do in our closets because there's only 365 days of the year. There's only so many reasons to wear certain items. And when you have too many of them, you're never going to get to everything in your closet. So the best way to get rid of the things that aren't helping you or aren't useful in your closet is to always ask yourself, under what circumstance am I going to choose this item over something else that I always go to or I always prefer? You don't need the things that you're not going to wear. So again, Avoid splitting your wares, do more with less, and you'll get more value from everything you have. And to get rid of something, the best way to know which item goes is to look at it and say, is there something else that I will always go to before this item? And if there is, the less desirable items got to hit the road. So that's another tip for you for cleaning out your closet. Stay tuned next week. I'll bring you another tip that I have for doing that. And in the meantime, if you have your own question that you'd like me to answer, you can email me. Find me on my website, BridgetRays.com. And in social media world, you can find me, Bridget Ray Style Expert on Facebook, Instagram, Bridget Ray's, Twitter, Bridget Ray's, Pinterest, Bridget Ray's. Everything is pretty much Bridget Ray's. Uh, I always love touching base with you. Wishing you again a happy new year, and uh, I'll see you next week.